All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Brooklyn Nets video. I'm going to try to do more Nets videos for the second half of the season. They got the win tonight against the Washington Wizards, thanks to very good games by James Harden and Kyrie Irving. But that's actually not what today's video is going to be about. I might do a recap towards the end of the video, but... This video is really just about Nicholas Claxton. Like, that is just it. I think he is their secret weapon. And I want to talk about him a little bit because when he first got his minutes after injury, I said, you know, keep an eye on this guy. You know, he, he looks pretty good. He kind of looked like a Jay Sean Tate, a Draymond Green type guy for the Brooklyn Nets. But guys, before we get into this video, if you enjoy it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Really helps me out. I'm trying to branch out and do other NBA videos. The issue, guys, is I, you know, a lot of my subs, a lot of you guys are Rockets fans, so a lot of people, they don't click on these videos. So if you're watching this right now, it helps me a lot, man. I really appreciate it because if pretty much if I have mainly Rockets subs and I'm not uploading a Rockets video, if it's not a Rockets video, they're not going to click on it, which means... YouTube's not going to send it off to more people because they think it's a bad video based on the algorithm. No, no one's clicking on it, but it's just because it's not a Rockets video. So I appreciate it so much if you guys are watching this right now. Let's just get right into it. Nicholas Claxton, 6'11", 21 years old. He's only like three months older than me. He'll turn 22 actually later uh, is are we still in March? Yeah, obviously we're still in March. March Madness just happened or just started. So pretty much like a month from now, he will be 22. So he's extremely young. He's out of Georgia, actually born and raised in South Carolina, who you know, I got mad respect for because I got a bunch of family down in South Carolina, a bunch of alumni down in South Carolina. But Georgia, he was a beast at Georgia on the season right now, 8.6 points per game and assists four blocks. Oh my God. I just said four blocks, a couple of blocks, not four blocks, four rebounds. Sorry about that. But man, it's like nights like this, you kind of notice. So basically, obviously we all know, um, the Nets got Blake Griffin. And actually, this was his, this was Blake Griffin's debut. He only played in 14 minutes. Uh, he only shot the ball twice. He actually had a dunk, which was awesome. He's got to get back into shape. He hasn't played basketball in like two months. This is a whole new system, a whole new team. And I think he's going to make an immediate impact on this team. Statistically, I'm not too sure what it's going to look like. I kind of am regretting the fact that I went and picked him up immediately. I can't remember who I dropped to get him, but I can already feel myself shooting myself in the foot because I just think like, I mean, it's not like he's going to be going like 15 and 6 with, with the minutes he's given and, and the role he, he has. That's not what he should be doing anyway. So Blake, it's good to see him back, but Andre Drummond, he's been in the buyout market. He's been in uh, the trade t trade talk. So Kind of the whole league's wondering right now, um, is somebody going to trade for Andre Drummond? And basically, are the Lakers or the Nets going to trade for Drummond? Or if he gets bought out, is Drummond going to go to the Nets or is he going to go to the Lakers? And pretty much what this game to me, what Claxton was essentially saying was, either way, I got you. Either way, I got you. Obviously, he's not saying this directly, but go out. Get Andre Drummond for this season. Let's go all in. I'm 21 years old. Let's go get a ring. I could use playoff experience in case somebody gets hurt. I'll be here. I can still give you valuable minutes in the playoffs and for the, the rest of the season. Don't worry. I got you. But if not, you don't want to trade for Drummond, don't want to give up any pieces or Maybe the Lakers beat them to the punch, whatever it is. He's got them as well. They don't need Drummond. They've got Claxton, and Claxton's the guy who is getting better as every single game is going on. For my Rockets fans, it's so similar to Jay Sean Tate. Obviously different positions, but it's just, it's that guy you have come in, immediate impact tonight. 26 minutes, 16 points, 7 of 10 shooting, 3 rebounds, a steal, and 3 blocks. Immediate impact, not only just statistically and in the box score, 
but just momentum and the vibe. Like this is a dude who you know has your back and is giving his all every minute of every second he's out on the court. Like David Nwaba, Jay Sean Tate, Draymond Green. Like these guys, they're the players' champ. They're the players' champ. So Claxton, I've got a I've got a gut feeling he's going to be, even if it's if he doesn't make an immediate role, like say they do get Drummond or maybe Blake Griffin goes off and um once once the, the Nets are fully healthy, maybe Claxton just doesn't play much. But either way, they've got him for longer than this season, right? So they're they're gonna be just fine. Claxton, no matter where he is. I think this guy is going to be special, man. I really do. So let me know if you guys agree with that statement. It was a good win for the Nets tonight. It was a good win. I'm ready for Kevin Durant. Like, I am so ready for Kevin Durant. I need to know when he's coming back. I need to know if he is coming back. I just need to know answers with Kevin Durant soon. Uh, But in the meantime, man, thank goodness for Blake Griffin. Um... Anthony Davis, LeBron James, they're both banged up right now, but you know at any point, any given time, they both can come back and just stir up havoc. Just wreck absolute chaos, change everything, and win a championship. You know they can do that in a heartbeat. Drop of a hat. So it was a good win. Uh, Their next game, I believe, is against the Trailblazers. I want to say it's on Tuesday. Um, they play they play my Rockets later on in the season in Brooklyn, so I'll be I'll be looking forward to that. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. And I'll see you guys later. Maybe even tomorrow.